There is no way that CNN can report on facts without telling you that Trump wins. They're going to do it here. That's CNN says it. Trump wins. These are facts. And I'm John Mike Keen. Let's watch this together. Kamala Harris's campaign, just 28% of Americans think the U.S. is on the right track. And I want you to put that into perspective, right? Reason why he's pulling our pants down. Going to paddle a little behind. Ain't going to paddle it. Going to kick it real hard. If 28% of Americans, only that many, think America's on the right track, then Kamala traditionally is going to lose. Here's Eric Daugherty. We'll get back to more of those clips. CNN Allen, an analyst, just 28% of Americans think the U.S. is on the right track. The incumbent party usually loses when that number nears 25% and wins when it nears 42%. This is bad sign. For Kamala Harris, because there's no way in hay, 42% of Americans think it's going in the right direction. When does the average, when the incumbent party loses the election, look at that, it's just 25%. That looks a heck of a lot like that 28%, right? That currently think the country is on the right track. When the White House party wins, i.e. Kamala Harris's party, the Democrats, 42% on average think that the country is on the right track. This 25% looks a lot more like this 28%. It doesn't look anything like this 42%. How does the Democrat Party get the people to think the country's on the right track to go from 28% to 42%? They have to change. That's about one quarter of America's opinion. They have to change. Well, people like that reform. And maybe we should get us some. Uh, I'll reform me or you soft-headed son how are you going to run reform on with a damn incumbent? After already being in power for four years, it's not going to work, guys. This is CNN essentially saying what they're about to say. Let's get to it. This, to me, is a bad sign for Kamala Harris's campaign. The bottom line is it looks a lot more like a loser than it does like a winner when it comes to the country being on the right track. No, I believe he's going to paddle it. I don't believe that's a proper description. Can an incumbent party win with numbers like this? Yeah, so if we look historically speaking, right, and we say, okay, say the U.S. is on the right track, the incumbent party, when they win. Today, again, it's just 28%. Look throughout history, right, 96, 88, 04, 12, 84. In all of these instances, in all these instances, far more than 28% thought that the country was on the right track. 39 was the lowest back in 1996. Okay, so we they have to get up to 39%. They have to go up another 10 points before it even matches 96. We got upwards of 47% in 84. Of course, that was a blowout, right, for Ronald Reagan. So there is no historical precedent for the White House Party winning another term in the White House when the country, when just 28% of the country thinks that we're on the right track. John, simply put, it would be historically unprecedented. In other words, historically impossible is what CNN is saying for Kamala to win with this many disaffected people. So is, is there any good news or interpretation or prism you can look through where Democrats can say, well, maybe it's OK? OK, so let's look back to the last midterm, because sometimes history is made to be broken, Mr. Berman. All right. Say the country is on the right track in midterms. Democrats had a good midterm despite this. The old low for the country saying that the country saying that we were on the right track was 27 percent back in 1994. Of course, that was a blowout, right? The Republicans romped over the Democrats and Bill Clinton. But this particular past midterm, look, just 26 percent said that the country was on the right track. And Democrats did pretty gosh darn good. They did pretty good because it was Senate races. He's not talking about there's not a president on the ballot in 2022. You dumb cracker. So even their rescuing the Democrats does not apply because that new low that hit in 2022, that only 26% thought we were on the right track. They often think the Senate or the House might fix something in a way that the president can't. Those numbers aren't indicative of this election coming up. Maybe we've entered a new political environment where Donald Trump is so unpopular that these historical norms, these historical measures that we look at don't actually mean what we think anymore. Yeah, just the facts don't mean what you think. And there's the Democrat on the left. He's got his arms crossed, nodding, nodding. Yeah, yeah. Tell us something. I'll tell you this much. Kamala Harris better hope that's the case, because yeah. otherwise this right track, wrong direction situation will not work out in their favor. The other thing Democrats do say is numbers like the jobs numbers we just saw, they are seeing things improve a little bit I, week by week on the margins. Yeah, I would say, look, 
Right now, if we're saying you know, 28% of the country is on the right track, that number was closer to low 20s at the beginning of the year. So it has gone up a little bit, but still, you're very much in the danger zone when we're looking at that right track, wrong direction number. That's where Democrats are right now. They're going to have to hope that there's a historical norm broken like there was in the past midterm, because if there isn't, Donald Trump's going to end up in the White House. If there isn't, Donald Trump's going to end up in the White House. If there isn't, Donald Trump is going to end up in the White House if there isn't a change. And I don't see a change coming. I think that's a proper description. Well, that's how I'd characterize it. I believe it's more of a kicking situation. I'm John Mike Keane.